Hello guys, my name is Marco and I'm a person that I like to make stuff, I like cosplaying stuff and I also like prop stuff and I also like making stuff that is built around a concept like sci-fi, futuristic stuff like that and one of the things that I always wanted to make which I have made, made it before but didn't like the way it came out and it was very like not that great but it was like sort of the concept what I want to make is I wanted to make a, um, a light ring for my camera so when I'm filming I can have a light ring and I just want to make one I have made one before which is just a simple light ring but this time I want to make something that looked very sci-fi ish because here's the thing sometimes when you make a light ring you make it right or you buy it and you have it in your room and it just doesn't look pretty because it's just a white ring with a tripod so you're like hmm there's that so what I decided to make is that to make this and this one opening the light and the RGB looks like this. This that's the uh there we go. The reason why there's these things right is because kinda my thing is kinda dirty. I need to sort of like clean it or something like that. I don't know, sorry about that. I forgot to record this part. Um, I don't know if it recorded. Okay, so I don't know if it recorded it, but basically, I just decided to draw the shape like this with um, this marker right here, which is a, a brown marker. This is a black marker. So I said, do this to just generalize um, a shape on it. And then I found out the middle point, which this one measures the same as this. And then this one measures the same as this. So then I measured this. So I found the middle and I put a line underneath it. Then I just did the line thing and then I just connected these ones. And this one measures the same as this. So it makes it kind of like a triangle. You can also make a triangle and I feel like that's going to be it. And just cut out some of these corners. But I said to do like this. So there's that. This is the outline. So now I'm going to... And then I trace it um, with the black so it could be more darker. Um... The reason why I decided to go with this, you can always go like a lighter color, but the reason why is because it was gonna, wasn't was going to show great on camera with the much lighter one. Now I'm going to cut out this and yeah. So I just ended up cutting this. I think it came out pretty cool. Now this, this is going to be like, I'm a trace this out but this is going to be like the inside we still need to make the outside which is going to be uh the rim around it um so we're going to trace this onto a poster board so there's that okay so when it comes to poster board there's actually uh, many different types of poster board i i always call it poster but in reality it's called foam board i just keep calling it poster board. i i i'm gonna start calling it Phone board because they are phone board. Poster board are is something else. it's just that I remember watching the name, whatever, and it's like whatever. Uh so here's the thing. Uh you have one type that I got here. This one right here is actually a much more uh cheaper kind. This one 
actually cost me like around one dollar or something like you get a dollar store walmart any of those places the material is kind of like a matte finish or something like that um so there's that and then i have this one right here which cost me like around two dollars and ninety no two dollars and eighty eight cents or something like close to like three bucks um this one's actually a lot thicker there's that and the quality seems to be a lot better and also um this is not so much of a matte finish this is more like a uh what's it called more like a little bit more glossier um it feels like more sturdier okay so that's what you're paying for this one and since um i always recommend if you are going to be making for instance um this is an alternative from like making it out of wood or wire or anything that seems to be complicated because you need to have those tools available so um so this one is you know slide will call it and decide to get this one okay so now i want to measure this right here and also i'm gonna measure this one right here to make sure they're the same and then i'll put another dot right here and then i just trace them around this one right here is this side just ignore this smaller point i mess up also ignore this one right here this right here, I measured this, and I did it on the corner just so I can have enough space. So now what I want to do is get a ruler or something, which uh, to me, I'm going to be using this. Um, and then I'm just going to like align these ones. Now, I didn't make it a little bit bigger just in case if later on in the future, I do want to switch uh, these ones up for some bright old uh, white ones if I'm able to. But I don't know if I can because we'll be gluing those. Uh, so that's that. The good thing is that this does have like a grid on there so you can really get in there that you can barely see. But um, the grid uh, right here, there's like a small little space right here. And right here there's no space right here so this grid is kind of like, it's a little bit more into like the pointless side. Unless if you like start it from like right here. But I really want to utilize everything. Yeah. So, um, I'm actually gonna... But what, one thing that did happen that I messed up on is down this side. As you guys see right there. Uh, yeah. Which is really weird. Supposed to align together. Like this one? I don't know. I feel like I kind of did mess up, but I'm just going to leave it like that because... Um, I don't know, like, I don't want to redo it again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing out. I'm gonna use this as an X-Acto knife because I don't have a box cutter and I feel like X-Acto knives, when it comes to drawing shapes and stuff like that, you could get away with uh, with a different kind of knife, but I wanna start. Uh, so I'm gonna start by cutting out this inside and then I'll go with the outside, yeah. So I just got done cutting this thing out. It's not actually like a accurate triangle if you look at it. It looks a little bit like miss out of place. Actually, if you look at it like this, this looks like a little bit more to the to that side. But if you look at it like this, kind of looks like it, which is okay. It's a win-win. Okay. So now what I'm gonna be doing is that. Um, I'm going to be sanding some of these edges. Um, this one right here didn't do so well. Sucks. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, so there's that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand some of these edges. And then uh, with the glue gun, I'm actually going to glue 
these RGB uh, strips into it. Now here's the thing, when you first buy these, they will have the adhesive in it, so you might not have to glue them. But to me, I'm going to glue them because these ones, I used them for something else that didn't work out, so uh, the glue's kind of all gone, so there's that. So my glue gun already got glued, oh, it got heated up. Now here's the thing, if um, for these things, you don't need to necessarily need to glue them because once you, if you were gonna get them, it already has the adhesive, but might kind of like decide it, like I said. So I'm gonna glue these ones onto right here to make sure they're unplugged when you glue them. So what I wanna do is sort of start with uh, start with this one, the one that you plug in, and I feel like I am gonna. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start it, put it like right here, but start it out like that, so I could just like get and just connect it like that. So put one on this side, and I'm just gonna put like a like like a small little drop, and then grab this. So there's that. Just wait a little bit till it dries here. I'm just put in drops. Gotta make sure it, it aligns. Because sometimes if it doesn't align, it just doesn't look good. So you always gotta like force it in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just wrap this thing around. Right now I kind of sort of finished uh this part, which was kind of difficult because you gotta pinch uh these corners to make them blend in. So on this side is where I'm gonna start making the uh, second layer, so on this one, I will uh, glue it like this, but I'm also going to kind of like slowly kind of raise it up a little bit so I can have that. So there's that. So there's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and glue. done with uh, gluing this whole thing um I started right here and I ended right here it didn't it looks didn't finish this part because it wasn't that long enough but I still think it looks really great one thing you could do is kind of like cover this part and also this part and this part to make it look just these lines to make it look like that I think that would look pretty cool and I might do that but I'm not sure uh for right now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn them on to see if they turn on if they still turn on so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got the connection right here. Um, it came out in this USB form, uh, which I just used this Apple, you know, connection thing. Um, go ahead, and I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to try to turn it on. Now, this thing right here actually has a, has like an indicator, like a, like a small little triangle thing. I don't... I know you guys cannot see it, but there is a triangle here, and then right here there's also a triangle, but if you line them up with both triangle, it's not going to turn on. You have to like, do the opposite, I uh, guess some, somebody failed on that sticker. There we go. Oh yeah, because it was turned on the opposite way. So there's that, and look, they turned on. It was pretty cool. It can cycle to like all the colors. But I don't have the control with me right now. I have it in my room. But um, I will, you know, I'll be showing you guys how that looks like. But for now, I just wanted to see if it turns on. So there's that. Now I'm going to turn it off. Uh, unplug this thing. Now to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to do the part where I'm actually going to glue a stand. Something. Something that I already did. But I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So basically, I got something like this. This is an aluminum. It's like this cornered thing. If you guys can see that. Um, you don't really have to use it. You just need something that looks like this. That is like actually a cornered thing. Um, so there's that. And what I did is that I drilled a hole on this. And once I got done drilling the hole, I actually cut a piece out. And that looks like this. 
you guys can see that it, it you see this 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 eye has a hole in here I actually put inside this uh this tripod the stand I can't really take I can't I can't take it put this thing in here it's very snug and I can't really take it off but you know you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how that looks like so there's that so now what I want to do is that I want to glue with the glue gun I'm gonna put some glue in here and I'm gonna glue this like that yeah just like that grab this put some glue inside here and there's a also one thing I will say is that if you're working with aluminum or anything like that and if you put heat on it it will like it will burn or something like that meaning that it will like you know like like for instance right here this is aluminum you touch it it will get hot so yeah so I'm just gonna leave it there for a while just cut out uh it is on the flimsier side so what I did is just I got these little things right here and I cut them out and then I just glued it onto uh, the back of it so it can not be so flimsy so there's that I think it looks you know me being far this distance it looks pretty damn cool um it's not that bright so this is how it's gonna look like if you add the uh rgb like this kind of like that so now i'm gonna do the exact same thing but with the lights uh turn off the um the rgb uh light thing see that's what it looks like now i'm up and this is how the white one looks like. I think it it, it kind of gives it like a soft light, which I think is great because my camera has a good ISO that is really bright. You have like the Canon uh, G7X or something like that that you can crank up the ISO. I mean, the brightness is really bright. That's great. Uh, so essentially, what this thing is is a RGB uh, triangular sci-fi light ring. And I wanted to make it a, I was going to make a triangle, but then I was like, you know what, I'm not doing that. I want to make it look like this. Uh, the inspiration from this, it became because of the idea that I wanted to have a RGB light ring because I wanted to uh, basically be able to function as a light ring for my camera, but when I'm not using it, function as an art piece or RGB light or any color or a backdrop you know, color stuff like that, which I think will look pretty damn cool. Now, also the other thing, the other thing I'm exposed that I saw a photo online that this person made like this sort of a cool little shape. I forgot what type of shape it was. And it looked pretty cool. He did not use LED lights like I did. He did use something else, um, which I was tempted on buying it, which I might do that one in later future because it looks pretty cool. But you do like a laser cut and all these things. Now, one thing I will tell you is that the thing that I used, um, you know the foam board whatever um, that one it turned out to be a little bit more flimsy I would recommend doing with the better material like a wood color whatever but other than that um, is it's great like it is feels a little bit more flimsy and also the pieces of, of wood that I added in there uh, did not help because I ran out so I don't know so there's that so I hope you guys will enjoy this video see you guys later bye